I would tell them that you already know how to do this. We're wired to do this. We're creators. There's nothing that you don't already know how to do when it comes to creating. And think about it. When you got a wild idea one time in your life, you just said, you asked the question, like, what would it be like to be healthy? What would it be like to run a triathlon or do a triathlon? What would it be like to, to be in a relationship? What would it be like to lose 30 pounds? You started asking that question, and you did a few things. You started thinking about how you would do it. You started researching, getting information. And every time you learned something, you added more raw materials in your brain to begin to build a model of understanding. And then you wrote down the choices you were going to make. You wrote down the things you were going to do. You wrote down the experiences, your goals that you wanted to have. And every experience and goal got you to feel like an amazing feeling. And every time you felt that feeling, you were, you were giving your body a sampling, a taste of the future. And, but then you got to do something really important. And you got to write down the thoughts that you don't want to think, like, I can't, it's too hard, I'll start tomorrow, I don't feel like it. Those are the thoughts that stop you from your future. You gotta become so conscious of them, you don't go unconscious. You gotta think about the choices. You gotta stop making, you gotta write down the things you gotta stop doing. You gotta think about the experiences you wanna stay away from with certain people at certain times that could return you back to a very similar state. You gotta look at emotions that, that bring you to a lower denominator and decide, my goodness, uh, I gotta, I gotta keep my energy up, and in the process of remembering who you no want, longer want to be, and who you do want to be, if you keep doing that and you make it a priority, you know, without you know, going to sleep or watching your favorite television show, this is, this is your, this is what you're doing. I guarantee you, if you keep it alive in your mind, for an extended period of time, when you start seeing those interesting synchronicities and opportunities start showing up around you. I swear <laughs> that you're going to wake up every day looking forward to your day. You know, people can't get out of bed in the morning because they can predict the feeling of everything's going to happen in their life. If you can predict the feeling of everything that happened in your life, you're in the known. Because feelings are the past, right? But it's cool then when you start creating the feeling of your future every single day. <laughs> you feel like it's already happened. The side effect of that is you're not looking for it to happen. Uh, and when you're looking for it to happen, you're separate from it. You're too busy being it. And that's when the, you know, the crumbs start falling from the table. So I think we already know how to do this. If you take a little time for yourself, when you invest in yourself, you invest in your future. So 30 minutes, 20 minutes, make it within the realm of your acceptance. Try it out like a scientific experiment. If I change my thoughts and feelings, I change my energy, and I just keep my energy up. What, let me just see if anything changes in my life. People do that and they're always amazed like how powerful they really are. And whether you're the CEO of a major company, whether you're a single mom with four kids, or you're a prison inmate, everybody secretly believes in themselves. So why not believe in yourself again and, 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 and try it out? So, and if you're afraid to fail, fail a hundred times. Who cares? I have three arenas that I live in. There's Joe Dispenza, my personal life, where you know, I'm super passionate about learning. I'm super passionate about doing my own inner work to create wonderful and crazy wild experiences. I'm, I value my family and my close friends, and that's the world that I cherish, right? And I keep it very, very sacred. Then there's the world of Joe Dispenza as the CEO and, and leader of a company or two companies. Uh, it used to be three, but now it's two, that, that has to keep a team excited, uh, keep them focused, uh, 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 always uh, coach and nurture uh, outcomes, and deal with dynamics. Uh, that's, a, that's a big circle right there, and it takes an enormous amount of energy to do that. And I do it a lot from the road because I'm usually traveling, and a lot of my staff will be in uh, the event in Italy here in a few days but they're a great group of people and I couldn't do it without them so I nourish them and I take care of them and I and I listen and I you know I and I do my best to lead by example then there's Joe Dispenza on the stage which is what I love to do it's uh, it's what I love to do and I think witnessing human transformation <laughs> there's nothing like it in the world I mean we have we have team leaders now that I've selected for our week-long events and you know at the end of those weeks they're, they're in tears they cannot hold back the tears from what they've witnessed and people in witnessing transformation I think it's innate in us to want to give it's innate in us to want to to support one another it's innate in us 
uh, to want to really cooperate and collaborate. So that third arena is where I get to connect and I get to get out of the way and I get to uh, hopefully um, uh, help people uh, transform themselves. But for me, I, I work on being the example uh, on a personal level of all the things I want to see change in the world. And, and so, um, so, the, so I'm an early riser. I'm up at 4.30 most mornings. That's the, my time. Uh, nobody, nobody ever uh, uh, interrupts that time. That's just my time. And that's my time to connect, and it's my it's, it's time to have a love affair with the divine. It means that um, if you're in love with someone, you don't miss the date. If you're in love with someone, you're present with them. If you're in love with someone, you're not always nagging them and asking them for things that you want. <laughs> you know, you're present and you're speaking in a way that it can be heard. And you're listening in a way to allow a person or someone to speak. That, um, that you bring your best. Uh, that you're creative. And so for me, uh, the solitude in the morning is my time to get my brain and body right because I serve the rest of the day. Uh, I face a lot of challenges, a lot of decisions every single day and my, I gauge those decisions on a purpose of how we, how we help the world. Uh, I, I believe that if you have three types of stress, physical, chemical and emotional, you have three types of balance, physical, chemical, and emotional. So I work on all three of those. I take care of my body, I exercise, I eat well. I'm not a fanatic about food, but I, I do my best to eat, you know, as best I can. And, uh, and from an emotional standpoint, um, that's the work. And uh, I think if you get two out of three of those in order, the third one always comes around. If you get more physically balanced, more emotionally balanced, you'll be more chemically balanced. You get more chemically balanced, more emotionally balanced, you're going to be more physically balanced. So, uh, but uh, I love life. I mean, I love, I love this journey we're on. And I think it's, I think we all negotiated to be here at this time. And people say to me, why do you meditate first thing in the morning? I always say the same thing. If I can overcome me at the beginning of the, I can overcome anybody. Yeah. I, my rest of my day is easy. Would you agree? And of course you overcome something about yourself. You'll be able to see a part of you and someone else who used to be that you no longer are. Now you're no longer the same person. Would you agree? And it would be worth the effort. Yes or no? Yes. So then we have evidence. Evidence. Scientific evidence that you could create really coherent brainwave patterns. We have evidence that you can rock your house in there. The arousal that's going on in that brain is not an arousal that's created from the hormones of stress like fear, anxiety, pain, suffering, aggression or anger. This arousal is bliss. This arousal is an ecstasy. This is arousal that is producing a transcendental state of joy. So this arousal is coming with such an intensity that the imagery in the person's brain, they're paying attention to that lucid moment and they're literally having an inward experience that's greater than the betrayal. The arousal of bliss or joy is greater than the, the suffering or the event in the past. And we have research to show they, people change their brain circuitry. Different brain. And it produces a very strong signal to the body, but the signal is not chemical. <laughs> the signal is electric. It's electromagnetic. It's a thrill. It's a order in the body. It's the body aligning to order and frequency. The person's getting a biological upgrade. We have the research to show. There it was, and now it's not. Where'd it go? I don't know. You tell me. That person who had that moment would be more loving, more kind, more present, more, more free. They would care less about what people thought of them. They, they would feel blessed every single day. Would you agree? So they're in a new body, they're in a new life, they're in a whole new time. Imagine that people just have to stop for a moment. That is, that is so big that they have to stop and surrender to it. It could happen to you. So we have this incredible research that people can change their biology in a very short amount of time.